The igniter kit makes lighting your propane grill simple. The kit consists of the igniter module, the wires and electrodes, the push button and battery, and new wire clips. After years of use, the igniter module can wear out, no longer producing enough power to make a spark at the electrodes. Replacing the igniter kit is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the lid from the grill. The lid is secured with a couple of pins. I'll pull the retaining pin, and then I can pull the hinge pin. I do the same thing on the other side of the grill. And now I'll lift the lid off of the grill. Next, I'll remove the warming rack, the grilling grates, and the burner covers. Next, I'll remove the cabinet doors. When I open the door, in the top corner, there's a release for the hinge pin. I insert a screwdriver into the opening and pull the release down. And then the door will come off the cabinet. Now I'll remove the lower cover beneath the valves. It's held in place with a couple of screws. Now remove the igniter module. First, I'll unscrew the igniter button, I'll remove the battery, and then I'll remove the retaining ring that secures the igniter module. And I'll remove the ignition wires from the module. Now remove each of the valve knobs, and they just simply pull away from the valve stem. And now I can remove the front panel. It's secured with two screws. Next, I'll pull the igniter wires away from the clips that secure them. and then I'll remove the heat shield. The igniter kit includes new wire clips. If any of your clips are broken or missing, replace them with a new clip. Now we'll install the new electrodes that came in the kit. We'll do these one at a time. You'll notice that each of the electrode wires are color-coded. As we replace each electrode, we'll want to make sure that we're replacing it with the same color-coded wire. I'll go ahead and remove the first electrode. To do that, I pull up on the electrode and then push it out towards the valve. This electrode has a yellow wire, 
So I find the same yellow wired electrode in the kit and I'll go ahead and install it. I line up the bracket on the electrode with the bracket on the burner tube. And then I slide the electrode forward until you hear a click. I repeat this on the other two burners. The center electrode has two wires, color-coded blue and green. The last electrode has the black color coding. Now reinstall the heat shield. Make sure that the wire clips are pointing out. Secure the heat shield with a screw. Now I'll secure the electrode wires back into the wire clips. I'll start on the end with the short wire, then the middle burner, and finally the end burner. This wire, you want to make sure you route it behind the gas line. Now reinstall the front panel. The panel hangs on these hooks on either side of the grill and then gets secured with two screws from below. Now I'll install the ignition wires to our new ignition coil. Again, everything's color coded. So I just match up the colors. Black to black, yellow to yellow, green to green, and blue to blue. I'll install the module to the front panel. You'll notice that it's notched on one side that aligns it to the panel and I'll secure it with the retaining ring from the kit. The kit includes a new battery and the new push button. Now reinstall the burner knobs. Again, notice they're notched on one side for alignment. and they just press in place. Now reinstall the bottom panel. The small bent tabs should be pointing up. You'll also notice on the front edge, there's two short tabs and one long tab. This locks in to the front lip on the panel. Once the panel's in place, I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the cabinet doors. First, I'll line the bottom hinge pin with the door, and then install the top. The top hinge pin is spring-loaded, so I'll push it down with my finger as I bring it up to the panel, and then just lock it in place. And I do the same thing on the other side. Now install the flavorizer bars. Followed by the grilling grates and the warming rack. Now we can finish up by reinstalling the lid. I'll line the lid to the cabinet and secure it with the hinge pins. And now you know how to install a new igniter kit 
on your grill. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.